In the last tutorial, I showed you how to install Django and set up a project in Windows. I'll continue by demonstrating how to create an app as well as the database model. Also, I am loosely following the Django tutorial, which you can find by going to djangoproject.com and then clicking tutorial. Okay, so let's start by creating the app. So navigate to the test project directory. project and then type the command python manage dot pi start app and we're going to call this app books now you want to cd into that new directory let me do a directory listing and you should see a models.py file, which is used to set up the entities and attributes for your database. So let's go ahead and open that up. Edit with Notepad++. And we want to go ahead and add in the following code. Class books. Title field the max length for that is going to be 150. Let me just go ahead and copy and paste the rest of this. Save time. So we're going to use title author and red max length is 100 and the max length here will be 3 so basically this class defines the database fields title author and red the data in the red field will either be yes or no and also just to note we don't need to create a primary key as Django will automatically create a unique ID for us so let's go ahead and save that file. And so now we need to modify the settings.py file again to add this app in. Test project, edit with Notepad++, and then scroll down to the installed apps. And then we can add in this app, books, quote, comma, go ahead and save that, then let's go back to command prompt, go ahead and go back to the, the main project directory, and then type in python manage.py sql books. And so this shows the actual SQL statements for creating the table. And you can see the unique ID field here, which is the primary key. And then if you use this command, python manage.py validate, this will show any errors there may be in your model. And now we can go ahead and sync the database and execute the SQL statements by using the command python manage py sync db. Okay, so we just created a new app and the accompanying database model for it. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at how to add data to our table using the command line as well as the GUI admin site. See you next time. Thanks.